Hi, Miss Niels. Um, uh, this is my salmon project that you wanted us to do. So, um, I use these. Well, the reason I didn't just take a picture is because because you might not like know what it is. So, I use uh, my Legos for um red Legos for reds. Then I use these uh pieces of paper I found, and I try to make them look like a fish. Then I made I use I used Legos a lot. Um, I used Legos to make it like tiny little fish, like for fry. And then I use these because it looks like they have fins and then eyes and stuff. So I use those for small. Then I use, so then I like put this big white piece of paper I found and I put it on right um, on my desk. And um, I use that for the ocean. Then I use, well, then I use these for uh, the adult. Then he goes straight back to that. Then it's the, like, it's the same life cycle except. Uh, okay. Um. Hi, my name is Michaela, and today I'm going to show you my salmon life cycle project. This is only the start, and this is all the stuff I'm going to be using. I found some junk around my house, and the first thing I have. There are these mini goldfish crackers that I can use it for the fish. I found a straw. Maybe we could like make the fish swim in with it somehow. I found this. It kind of reminds me of a fish, so I thought it could work. We found some candles, maybe for like something we could use. Um, we found a stick with a bead. Maybe we could use the bead and the stick. We found this stick and we thought we could use it, especially because it's flat. We found these Swedish fish we could use for the fish. We thought these were really good. And we thought we could use this as a fish. We thought it would be perfect for like the smolt and the adult and the death because it's only one fish. And we thought we could use these rocks for the red. And we also got some acrylic paints and some other paints. We also got this flower just to like cut it and make some crafts out of it. We got this. I thought it could be something like water. And last but not least, we got this cardboard. We could make it like a stand for some stuff. Maybe this could be like where it could dry or we could paint this like blue for like the water. And yeah, that's all the stuff for the start of it. All right, so I'm here right now. I have two paintbrushes, some red paint and some orange paint to kind of make the red orange color for the red. And I have some white to make some details. And I'm going to paint this rock right now. We are going to blow dry this side. Since the paint is so transparent, I'm going to be adding multiple coats. Alright, so I finished the red rock. Um, so yeah, here it is. I didn't mind about the back because you're not really going to see the back. Um, here's the red. I just kind of went in with white and orange and red just kind of made some weird dots and i think it looks okay um but yeah this is the red hey everyone so today's video i mean sorry <laughs> i'm saying the wrong intro um so this is the next stage i'm gonna be making the album and i'm going to be using this again but i flipped the napkin over just so i have a cleaner surface um, and, um, 
I'm gonna be using some tin foil and the stick we found with the bead, but I braked it in so it was shorter. Um, so we all know it's just a fish with the yolk sack, so I'm gonna make that right now. I'm basically going to just wrap it like this. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna try and mold it into the shape and I will see you when it's done. All right, so here it is. I tried to make it the best I could. This is the best I could do at shaping it. Um, but it's like, you can see kind of that it's like the fish and that it has like the yolk sac right here. I wish it was more down here, but it's the best I can do, especially with the next page. And then, yeah. Next project. So next is the fry. So I'm just going to be kind of making a little bit of a bigger fish. And I'm not, that's going to be really easy just because I'm using Swedish fish and some stick. Um, I'm only going to be making two. If I can break this out. Okay, so I broke it in half. There's two sticks. And I'm going to be using the Swedish fish base. I can open it. <laughs> it just went everywhere. Um, so I have how many Swedish fish? So I'm going to be making two. I got three to eat. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using two. And, um, we're so good. <laughs> I'm basically just going to stick the stick in here so it can kind of display. So yeah, I'll be back with you when I do that. Okay, so I'm back. And here they are. They're not perfect, so I think they look pretty okay. Um, they're fries, I guess. I mean, it's okay. I think it looks pretty good. I just kind of made them bigger because fries are like the third stage, the second stage um, from the oven. So I think it's just okay, it's bigger. So I think this would work. Next one is the par marks. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a Sharpie and some goldfish. Basically, I'm just gonna be kind of drawing some marks on the goldfish, even though they're so tiny, I know. But I think these would work, so I'm gonna be using these for the par marks, and I'm gonna make probably like 10, or um, seven, or something like that. Five to 10 I'll make, um, just because they're so tiny, so yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. And I'm using the rest of the goldfish because I made mine. Um, I made about I made eight and here they are so here's one of them another one of them another one of them so this one very unique, I know. Um, <laughs> this one. And last but not least, this one that looks like a zebra. Um, but that was my par marks. Hope you enjoyed the par marks. And on to the next one. Hello! This is the next stage. It is the smolt. So I was going to use the little clippy thing, but I realized I didn't have two of those. So I'm going to be trying to use a sucker, which I included. I'm not going to be unwrapping it, so don't worry. I'm going to be using some scissors and this big flower. I think it looks kind of cool, which is going to be sad. Um, but yeah, and some wire. So here's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be the smolt. It kind of reminds me of a fish. And I'm going to be using the flower to cut it off like some things. So tiny, I know.
but I think these would work. So I'm gonna be using these for the part of my set. I'm gonna make probably like 10 or um, seven or something like that. Five to 10 I'll make um, just because they're so tiny. So yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. And I'm using the rest of the goldfish because I made mine. Um, I made about I made eight, and here they are. So here's one of them. Another one of them. Another one of them. This one. Very unique, I know. Um, <laughs> this one. And last but not least, this one that looks like a zebra. Um, but that was my par marks. Hope you enjoyed the par marks, and on to the next one. Hello! This is the next stage. It is the swolt. So I was going to use the little clippy thing, but I realized I didn't have two of those. So I'm going to be trying to use a sucker, which I included. I'm not going to be unwrapping it, so don't worry. I'm going to be using some scissors and this big flower. I think it looks kind of cool, which is going to be sad. Um, but yeah, and some wire. So here's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be the smolt. It kind of reminds me of a fish. And I'm going to be using the flower to cut it off like some things. Oh my god, it's going to be so sad when I do it because it's so pretty. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna go, go, um, put it on with some wire so it actually stays on. I'm not gonna be using any glue because the glue might be slippery and it might fall off. So I'm gonna be using wire so it stays on really good. Um, and yeah, I'll see you when that's done. Yeah, I wanted to do this part on camera because it's so sad. Okay, ready? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh my god. Wait, 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 it's just... Thumbnail. Oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> wait, I need to make it a thumbnail real quick. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry, I want to do that. Okay. So, I'm going to cut it. Oh my god. I deleted it. It's so sad. Okay, I just want to share this moment with you guys. Here it is. It's not perfect, obviously. But it's the best. And I have to waste a flower. Oh. Why? Whoa. Oh, I did it off camera because it's so easy. I guess this is the adult. It's the best I could. Okay, it's the best I could do. I couldn't really find anything to do for this one. But I think it's pretty okay. It's the full grown adult, okay? It has everything it needs. It doesn't need a bunch of parts. Okay? <laughs> I guess. Oh no. Sorry. Um, but, I'm sorry, <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I'm gonna put them all together in the salmon life cycle. Here it is, all together in the salmon life cycle. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this is the best I could really do, um, so, bye!